Yo, yo, Rengu is here. You are watching. Wrench feels like playing. Death must die. Uh, we're gonna try out Act 2 again. Um, we tried it out with the uh, new uh, archer here, Lorian, but um, I'm gonna swap characters to uh, Scotty. Oops. Um, try it out with him. Check my items here. Yeah, so I still have the dragon. So we're going to hopefully cruise through. Yeah, so then my also I have the gloves here that like change elements I have a chance to hit in certain elements, which is sweet. I really like this character's build right now, and we're going to open up. Okay, do I have any kind of leveling with him, even though I haven't... No, so we have nothing, so... Unfortunately, it seems like you cut... we don't have the uh, the buffs anymore from the fire pit. Yeah, we lost the buffs from the fire pit, but... Uh, hopefully our upgrades will... Be able to uh, buff that out a bit. Do all these just suck, or am I crazy? Like, these are all, like... They're all tier 2. They're all common. If I compare this, it's pretty shite. There's a couple things that they do better, but not much. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. But even though they're all common, they're still pretty strong because they're tier two. Okay, so it seems like if we, uh, Possibly get some uh, like upgraded weapons. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It's weird how, uh, Scott, like, the dragon's called the Onyx the Dragon, tribe. yet it's green. Instantly with the uh, fates, eh? Um, your attacks have a chance to deal critical damage 3%. This is, I'm not a huge fan of any of these. I'm gonna... I only have one reroll. Damn. I'm gonna banish the fortune... I guess I'll pick up the crit chance. 3% really is not a lot. Weapon stand. Specialist shirt of exile. Okay, so we got the earth elemental. You stand Ooh. for Nin, maker of mountains. Follow my directions and let's see what you're made of. So we got a new goddess. Earth Elemental, Goddess of Earth. Okay, so what do we got here? Crushing Attack, Expert. Your attacks become stronger and have a chance to stun. Attack damage, 51%. Attack area, 13. So this is your attack. Great Wall. Your dash damages and knocks back enemies. In addition, it leaves Wall of Stone behind for a limited duration. Mountainous Might. Passive. Your attacks hit a wider area. 33%. Huh. Cool down one second. What does that mean? I honestly almost want to just go with the Mountainous Might. I'm going to go with the Mountainous Might to make my attack area 33% wider. 
and maybe we will we will definitely get the chance to upgrade our attack again later on there I took down that wow. spirits you uh, on the other hand seem quite dependable okay so we got uh lightning god so that we took down that freaking earth elemental fairly fast comparatively to when we were trying to fight it with the archer okay so he has new attacks as well so split second attack your attacks become stronger and have a chance to trigger an additional attack so they, they just renamed it and then tornadoes your attacks have a chance to create tornadoes that pull in and damage enemies chain lightning attacks have a chance to cause chain lightning um well i'm just gonna go tornadoes and just see what that is it's a strike three tornadoes chance to create tornadoes that pull in and damage enemies interesting it's a strike attack you would think that would have been like some sort of like i don't know Ooh. Legendary or uh, mythic gloves like right away. Nice pull. Okay, so we got another elemental So those things pop up like frequently I definitely seem to be like taking it down fairly fast oh, the though naive presentation. The fates are incredibly sharp. Okay, my upgrades aren't as awesome with uh, Scotty here, um Your attacks have a chance to throw ice shards and deal damage to enemies. Oh. Wow. Okay. That's different. So Scotty only has two strikes, two casts, two power, but has three summon. I'm not a fan of summons, to be perfectly honest. But that's that's this guy. Holy crap. Okay. Okay. I have to just uh, deal. I never really checked out Scotty's upgrades either. Maybe let's take out of his check out his equipment and see what he kind of like what is what is uh what his deal is here. Um fuck. Um I don't necessarily want to take up the strike here. Um I'm going to go frost ring. I don't usually go with Frost Ring, but uh, change it up here. What do I have on right now? Yeah, obviously, I'm not going to change the gloves out. I really like these gloves, even though they're only epic. Um, strike damage plus 11. Strike crit chance strike damage so strike is his strength so yeah i definitely want to make sure the next strike attack i get is strong hopefully it's an upgraded attack yeah continue to try and find some uh passive upgrades here So it's weird like not every one of these crowned enemies are like i've been following your journey ever since your first steps on my terrain mortal many have taken on this quest yet few have shown such tenacity okay you try again and again and never waver continue your effort all right that's the first time they've ever like gone past uh a line there okay so what's this mountainous might expert passive your attacks have a wider range i think i might want to just keep with this one because it's the only one that's okay 66 percent wider yeah i'll take that look at that look at that oh shit i just got stuck there deserted well drop the helmet each snowflake an elegant demonstration of my beauty. So I can either upgrade to adept shivers. Your status effects last longer. I'm gonna upgrade this to adept. It's, it's 
Scotty's attacks definitely, yeah, 410, do a lot of damage. Floating Brazier, Surge. So plus 24% damage for 20 seconds, I think that's it. Okay, so we got a Glaring Seal. Plus 4% of status affliction? I don't know. Another Blazer, Brazier, Cactus, a little bit of health regen. So some of these uh, upgrade towers aren't like awesome. Like they're not like the greatest. The law is to be followed, so there may be stability. Death has no right to do as he pleases. All right. Damn. Damn. As much as I want to chest out other stuff, I'm going to keep going with Mountainous Might. 99% wider. Yeah, that's freaking huge, dude. Okay. Okay, now I'm kind of forced to. Okay, your attacks become stronger and have a chance to stun. Which, that's pretty sweet. Your powers have a larger area. 22%. I'm going to go with that. Persistence. Amulet. I'm pretty much just going to pick everything up because I don't know if stuff's tier 2 or not. So, I'm just going to assume everything's tier 2 until proven otherwise. Yeah, Scotty's so freaking strong. Okay, Serendipity. I'm gonna take Serendipity. Luck for 11% luck, that's pretty decent. What's this? Movement speed. Okay, so those golems like do a wide attack. Kind of like the knights. Not as big though. Steel of Affliction status damage 4%. Okay. Yeah, I definitely like the fucking dragon I got. He's pretty sweet. Definitely helps out a lot. Okay, so now we're blocked in. Can I grab this tower? Yeah. So I get a little bit more moving speed for a couple seconds. So laser kitties. Damn it, dude. These things are brutal. Just tried to avoid an attack, but get close. Damn, dog. Okay. Let's upgrade our frost ring to expert. Got a really, like, I don't know, man. Those freaking laser. As soon as you get hit by one, it kind of, like, traps you. It, does, like, makes, slows you down. Damn. You got to really not get hit by it. Which is quite difficult, actually. Hopefully my dragon just takes out the kitties. Man. They do a lot of damage. And that, like, blue one that happened that killed me last time, like, those blue ones are even worse. Yeah, these... I... Ay, ay, ay. These, uh, laser kitties are pretty brutal. Then we got the jackals. Bit wider range of attack there. Okay. I don't really have any ranged attacks right now. I kind of need to uh, probably get at least a ranged. I got, I need to get some summons to be honest. Damn, damn. Okay, I got one of them. Well, I guess I'm going to just go 
It's not a very good upgrade, but I'm just gonna go up depth for powers area effect. 26. Okay, Mystic Gate, a simple arc of stone, cold to the touch, stands before you, and through it, Mantle of Cosmos. I think we're gonna go 18% area. Just add to our area of effect. Um, damn, we are uh, pretty low health right now. Some passive regen could be uh, pretty useful right now. Ring expert. Where do we go with something else? I think we're gonna go with dive. Okay, I need some health bad. Okay, we're almost at the uh, boss here. Okay, I really, really need some health. So, the cursed. Last time he didn't really follow me. Damn. I wonder if that means I'm slower? I definitely feel like I just take a lot of damage. Damn it. What is that arrow? Um. I don't passively get health. So I'm really screwed right now. Unless I can, uh... Damn. Yeah, no, I'm probably not gonna make it out of this. A book. What is, what is that? I could really use some health right now. Okay. Hopefully we can find a well. Sand sunken boat. You come across uh, once opulently or named. What the hell does that say? Opulently or manded. Ornamented merchant boat. Now pale and drowned in the sands of the endless desert, but still carrying the secrets of the great river of souls. Gain 100% more rare items. Gain 18% more adept offers. Gain 80% more pickup drops. I'm gonna just go with 100% more rare items. Trade routes. Not that it matters, because I'm probably dead. Yep. There's a bonfire. I get a little bit of health. Strike damage up. Yeah, I am uh, desperately, desperately in need of health. Summon damage, even though I don't have summon anything. I really could use some summons. I don't know if my dragon counts. Please be health somewhere. Please be health. What is this? A little bit of health. Five, five health. At least that's something. Um, I'm really not paying attention to the, uh, the cursed guy here, so I'm, I don't know, man. Now I have to fight with these freaking stupid laser things. Holy crap. Holy crap. Yeah, no, I don't know what to do. Damn, dog. This is rough. This is rough. Yeah, I'm not gonna fall for that again. I'm not gonna open a coffin. Whew. 
Damn. Oh, what was that? Oh, I have a. I had a revive. You I didn't. Uh, yeah. Okay. Paths with death but once. I have to endure his tedious company for ages. Okay, so we have some master. I'm gonna probably get. Uh, I should probably get the chilling attacks. But no, we're going frost wolves. Get the first of our summons. Hopefully, we get more. Here we go. So, we used our one revive almost 10 minutes in. Hopefully... Ugh! I don't know how to fucking evade these things, man. They are so... Holy crap, like, I don't know how you evade it. I don't know. It doesn't seem possible. How do you evade it? It's so fast. I, I, I don't understand. I can't dodge it. I can't run away from it. Like, I don't. What the fuck? That's nuts. Next time I'll do better. No giving up. Yeah, but like, holy shit, dude. I don't get it. I don't know if these are actually... I'm gonna try these out. There's no penalty for it this time, so I'm gonna keep that. Try that out. Damn, those freaking lasers are just... I don't know, dude. Oh, Merchant doesn't really sell anything all that hot anymore. So I wonder what we have to do in order to uh, get better equipment from the shop here. Damn, man. That really sucked. I felt like we were doing well. Um, shit. Well, we're gonna try this again. Not having any freaking passive sucks, man. And it doesn't give you any upgrades if you lose, I guess. I almost wonder if I have to, like, try with, uh,. In act one for a bit and try to upgrade Scotty. A lot of grinding. What is it? I really wish movement speed actually affected you when you were attacking. I don't know, man. We're just gonna go lightning bolts. I'm a fire starter. All right. Definitely not getting as many upgraded attacks or like upgraded abilities with uh, Scotty here. Just gonna go with intensity.
We'll go Searing Attack. damage 20 seconds you know how some say death is only the beginning on a long enough timeline it's true i only wish my father would see it so so we finally got mort um we will take so soul stealers is not a summon it's a strike interesting so we'll take soul stealers i guess I would have thought that would have been a summon. So I wonder what the ravens are then. Okay, it's plus three to health. Got over a hundred health. Sand sunken ruin. Uncovered by the desert winds, this mon monument carries a mystical energy that flows through you upon touching it. I'm gonna go with the 0.8% or yeah, the plus 0 0.8 experience per second. Not very much, but XP is XP. Oh, you're so mysterious. Okay, so we got fates again. I'm just gonna go with serendipity. 9% luck. They're there just got more. sitting in urns for an eternity. And he doesn't get it. He just doesn't get life and death. You know? Mayhem. I think we're gonna go mayhem. So whenever an elite boss or enemy dies while under the effects of cursed, gain a permanent advantage. That changed. Okay, so it used to be any cursed enemy, period, but now it's boss. Okay. So they they nerfed that a bit. When you kill an enemy, there's a chance it spawns a weak experience shard. Cursed enemies have a chance strength. Higher chance of dropping experience shards. Well, I'm still gonna go Mayhem, even though they nerfed it. I wonder if the starred enemies are considered like the elites or bosses. A shrine to the voracious dragonfly. Ancient resourcefulness gain 3% chance to heal on a hit. 18% attack speed or 12% strike down. I'm gonna go 18 attack speed. Like that seems like the uh, smart choice there. Upgrade mayhem to expert. 7.5% damage. nomadic tent you come across a tent that some small and mysterious nomadic creature has set camp in they are now they show kindness and show sh now want to share their meal with you and enjoy it and you politely accept i'm gonna gain 20 percent max life pretty dope okay that's sweet Definitely hope we get a couple more upgrades for Mort. We get a little bit more curse damage going around. Fear. An aura damages enemies around you. They, If they hit you while in the order, they become afraid. Damage per second, 80. Square area, six, 600 square foot. Area. I'm going to take that. What a weird one. They become afraid. Does that mean they run away from you? Searing attack up. Yeah, I'm going to take searing attack up to uh, 
up to expert, even though it's not the greatest upgrade, but it'll probably prove good in the long run. Okay. So it's just the laser kitties that I'm like super like iffy about. Really don't know how I'm supposed to avoid them. Like the ones that shoot the red, not bad. But the one that right shoot there, the blue. Mantle. I think you could really use some of my godly aid. I don't know Would you how. agree? Don't know. Um, I'm just gonna go tornadoes again. I don't know. Maybe it's a dumb choice, but we're just gonna go with it for now. health not bad shrine to cats a shrine to the gracious cat I'm just gonna even though I don't think it really helps me I'm just gonna go with the movement speed I don't think it helps when you're not like with your auto attacking. It doesn't up your auto attack speed. Okay, so we're blocked in. Damn laser kitties. Man, I really don't know. Like if you get hit by it, it like locks you in. I guess you slow down. Rough, dude. Fear to adapt. Damn, dude. I don't get it. They're like nigh impossible. Like, if they're like encircle you, you're screwed. Rough, man. That is rough. Definitely need some sort of passive healing here. Gonna gain more movements. Uh, maybe I'm gonna go health. I'm gonna go health. Master, you attack faster, 14%. I will be taking that. Darkstone scriptures. These ancient scriptures are pulsating with an evil power upon getting close to realize that there will be a price to pay. 20 movement speed. Gain 16% damage. It's all damage. Gain 4% chance to resist any native side of effects. I'm gonna go with. Uh, I'm gonna go negative 4% dash recharge. I have three dashes, even though it's like the, the hardest thing is to evade the kitties. So more dash would be the better option, but I don't know. Whatever. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so we get to heal. We do have one more revive, but definitely would be nice to... I wonder if you just have to be super aggressive with the kitties and just like... 
try to attack him right away. Damn, dog. I'm getting a lot of, like, upgrades. But they don't... Whenever you have to upgrade like this, it doesn't do much. I want true upgrades. Nice if I could get more summons here. Thing is how this guy is has three summon slots. What's that? Sand sucking DD altar. Covered by the desert winds, this monument carries a mystical energy that flows through you upon touching it. We're gonna take the experience per second. Okay, so we're got the cursed enemy here. I'm gonna try to stand near him and just attack him. So we have 28% attack speed. I'm gonna take that. He moves if you're trying to attack him. He seems to have some sort of like blue flame. So I definitely don't want to be next to that. Try to avoid this cloud. Run away. Okay. So I'm definitely doing a lot better. I just have to be aggressive when the cursed enemy comes along. I think I got him. I got him. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, sweet. I got a bunch of... Let's actually take a look. No. So tier 2 mythic weapons and mythic stuff. So none for Scotty though. Yeah, I think you just have to kind of be aggressive as hell. So, when the kitties pop up, I'm just going to have to rush them, hopefully. And just take them down super fast. Fury again, 42%. I'm taking it. Yeah, that Master Fury is freaking awesome. Nothing in the well. Pass damage. Tornadoes to adept. Thunderstruck. After dashing, there's a chance you gain status that gives you increased attack chance and triggers on your next attack. That is a passive. I'm gonna take that. The weird passive. Okay, nine minutes. We're getting close to the freaking. Yep, okay, so I gotta just freaking attack. Try to just try to rush them. Anytime I see one, just rush it. Right there. Be aggressive. Be be aggressive. Okay. Well, it seems to be working. Sweet. Okay. Yep. Just gotta. Oh shit. Two spawned. Okay. Intensity, your powers deal more damage. Meteor shower or trail of fire. I'm gonna go meteor shower. It's actually one of the strongest abilities. I just kind of damn it, kitty. There we 
we go, here we go, here we go. Die, 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 die. Okay. Yeah, just gotta be super aggressive when it comes to attacking them. 10 minutes in, this is the furthest we've gotten. Okay, new enemy. Some sort of like druid. Daughter. We're gonna go Thunderstruck to Adept. Let's try to avoid these guys' attack. Ooh, Dragonfly. Trying of the Dragonfly. Let's go attack speed, 18%. Seems, seems pretty obvious with that one. of uh, seals power and status damage thunderstruck to expert chance to gain status on dash I'm actually gonna go tornadoes up to add depth Get the bunny, so we have four dashes. Yeah, I still gotta try to be aggressive. Like, it seems like this, you gotta really try to be aggressive when it comes to attacking. Um, 10% life. It kind of seems like something I'd want right now. I'm kind of freaking losing it. I'm gonna take 10% life. It's not normally something I'd go with, but. Kinda uh, losing a lot of life right now. Okay, let's be aggressive. Try to take this chick out. Yeah. It's really incentivizing you to be aggressive here. So your attacks become stronger. Let's do that. Searing attack. Okay, we are almost at 12 minutes in. I really need some health. Okay, we got the swarm. Got a little bit of health. Power damage. 12 minutes in, okay, here we go. Damn, got frozen. I'm gonna upgrade fear. Expands the area of effect and duration, I guess, of fear. And it seems like it does passive damage. Like, I walk in, they like take damage when they walk into it. Interesting. A bookshelf. The Lusty Orc Handmaiden Gardening. Got a new book? 13 minutes in. Yeah, I really need some help. Ooh, here's a full revive with, or magic well. Deep within the cayenne water, sparkling magic flows around like fish. Heal 33 life, gain. Oh, I'm gonna heal. Kinda need it. Um, looks like there's a witch. I'm gonna just kinda be aggressive, try to attack her. Take her out, got her. Gonna upgrade fear again. I think that's what's doing the passive damage. I'm 
Like, if they're in range, they're getting hit with something here. Let's kill this guy if I can. Okay, so I can't pick anything else. Insect Queen. I'm dead. Wow. 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 I wasn't able to do shite there. Holy crap. So we're gonna upgrade tornadoes to expert. Um, trying to just stay around her so I can do damage. Got her to halfway health. Holy crap. Yeah, if you're... Where'd she go? Stay out of the beam. Damn. What is this? Come on. Stay close. Stay close. Okay, I'm gonna try to kill that. Damn it. This is tough, dude. She moves real fast. Come on. Come on. Just gotta stay close. She'll take passive damage from my aura. There we go. Got her. Okay, I gotta empty out some shit here. Okay, we're gonna move away so we can drop some stuff. Okay, my health's back at full. Um, okay, we're gonna drop anything that's a simple, simple, even if it's, if it's tier two. If it's simple, just drop it. Tornadoes expert. We're gonna upgrade our tornadoes to expert. Got a bunch of shit there. Sweet. Okay, 15 minutes in. Just gotta be aggressive. We lost. We only. We don't have another revive, so. Keep upgrading tornadoes. What the fuck? Well, as per usual, I'm just gonna try and stay close, try to try to get to these guys. I can. They're definitely moving super fast. Sixteen and a half minutes in. Whoa, whoa, is this like Spider Man on a freaking magic carpet? Um We're gonna go lightning bolts to adapt. Just gotta try and be aggressive, stick close to these guys, try to actually do damage to the flying carpet dudes. Damn. There you go, got one. Seventeen minutes in. What's well, coming? So we're enclosed. Stupid laser kitties are back. Yeah, this this is probably where I lose. Damn dog. Now we got an elemental as well. Holy shit. Try and kill the kitties. Got the elemental. Damn, we're out of room again. Uh, I'm gonna drop the common here. Yeah, we're probably dead here pretty quick. Drop that. Damn.
drop that. And then we're gonna try and pick up that without dying. Fear again. And then I need to try and rush the freaking kitty here. Got him. Okay. 17 and a half minutes in. We're gonna go lightning bolts. Goddamn kitties. Be aggressive. Be aggressive. As soon as you see him drop, you need to go attack. 18 minutes. Let's get that heal. Let's go see what this uh, scarab thing is. Damn! Those witches. Uh, 20% dash recharge speed, and then I need to frickin' try and kill these frickin'... Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm probably dead here. We're gonna go Searing Attack. Try to get a little bit of health. Damn it. That's probably where it ends. Yep. 18 minutes. 18 and a half minutes. Damn, man. This is rough. Rough. I wonder if we get, like, maybe a legendary ability that might help out a bit, but holy crap. Those damn freaking laser kitties. All damage you deal is increased by 1%. You are luckier by 2%. You are more control over your god offers, two rerolls. You gain more control over your god offers, two alteration. Well, I'm just gonna go with the attack, I guess. Kind of lame, but plus 4% attack damage. Hmm. I wonder what's like required to actually level up. Like, what, what constitutes getting points. Plus one summon slots. Twenty one percent legend offers, but the seeker ring that I have on with the almost two hundred percent god blessing rarity upgrades is also super good. I honestly want to. I'm gonna. This is rough, dude. This is rough. These tier two items are now really messing with me. I don't even know. Now, how do I even gauge what to keep or not? Damn. 
It's gonna be a lot harder to give items up at this point. I'm gonna start a new tab. A tier two staff. I think I'll sell that. Even these boots are freaking one passive experience per second. 30% dash movement. Even though the this boots I have on give me one dash charge. Which I like, so I have three dashes with these boots. I don't really want to give these up. Damn it, dude. One summon slot? Like, ah! I don't really want to give up the revival. I don't even think I can equip that anyway. This is rough. Like, these tier 2 items, like, I really don't know if I should keep or... Like, this ring, I'm honestly... We're just gonna keep pretty much everything here. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna use this. I don't know. The this uh, seeker ring is really sweet. I still think I have to have that mentality where unless it's a mythic item, don't even bother. Because eventually I'm just going to have to end up with that mentality. Cast Crescents away from you that damage any enemies on their way. Crescent damage. Crescent area. Crescent velocity. Cooldown. Seven, like, what is that? Cast Crescents away from you that damage any enemies in their way. So it's just like a passive... Strike damage, sharp pull, reroll, god blessing rarity upgrade. Like, I just totally like decimated my, my upgrades, but... I'm gonna I'm gonna try this one out as well. Yeah, these tier two freaking items are pretty. Tempting, but at the same time, they're not. Jeez. Okay, well, hopefully, we're gonna try this again. Hopefully, a third time's the charm and we actually win this one. Gotta really just try to be aggressive. Hopefully, we get, um. Hopefully, we get a master upgrade or a legend upgrade. That'd be pretty sweet. Death is just the beginning. Okay, so we got Mort. Ravens are summon. So we're gonna go Ravens. Death to death. Prom. We'll go blades. Uh, 
time. Passes. Energy missiles. You your attacks hits have a chance to shoot out aiming missiles that damage enemies. It's a strike. It's a new one. We're gonna go with the warped attack. Get more experience. Health. Masters. Nice. We're going to go fear, master. Hell yeah. Look at that aura. It's already huge. speed for a sec. I definitely like this uh, beer upgrade. Up the square footage and damage. Influence. Your summons deal more damage. That seems pretty good as well, but I'm going to keep going with the fear. Force. I'm going to go force. Our pull area is much bigger. Too, is pretty freaking tough must say I'm wondering if it's just because I have to upgrade my abilities more like maybe act two it's just kind of expected that you should already have high abilities um let's just keep going with fear maybe I'll just try and focus on fear a little bit Keep going on fear. Uh, Sickles of Mord is pretty good as well. I'm going to actually take Sickles of Mord. Um, damage, 12%. I wonder if that's overall, like, everything damage, or if that's just my attacks. Death has grown arrogant. We're gonna go with warped attack again. Okay, three minutes in. Really hoping that we find more upgrades. Items with dragon on them. I do believe conquest can change for the better. 
only he focused on his good sides. Determination is a wonderful trait. He will certainly use his talents more virtuously, though. We're definitely just going to keep going with fear. 1250 square footage. So we're blocked in, four minutes in. Just gotta be aggressive against the laser kitties. You should be fine. I think. Um, we'll go ravens up. It's six ravens now. I'm assuming also like once we get more items t that are tier two that are mythic, it'll help out a lot as well. Black serpents. Cast black serpents that damage enemies, resolve, cursed, and then reapply it. That's a new one. Let's do that. Black serpents. Strike damage. Boy, a hovering parchment. The parchment seemingly looks at you as if you're a weird one. Oh, well, we're gonna just upper up the uh Three percent chance of getting master upgrades. We will do the blood sword summon. Adapt. Now we have two summons, the ravens and the swords. And I guess the dragon as well, but that's not that doesn't count against my tabs. Almost at seven minutes. Just gotta be aggressive and go right towards the enemy. Run away. Um, maybe you should go left. Got the fates. Adapt. Damn, all these suck. Okay, so we're gonna just go. Chance by four percent, I guess. Seems pretty lame. I think we're making pretty good leeway on the uh, 
curse guy. Got him. Not too bad. Probably gonna get some kitties again here. I'm not too sure I can't remember when they come in. Is it nine minutes? Might be nine minutes. Darkstone scriptures. We'll go with. Mm, hmm. Dash recharge for more damage. Get some health. A little bit of health as well. Health regen. Energy missiles. Time. Your attack hits have chance to shoot out aiming missiles that damage enemies. That's a new one. Or force up to adapt. I'm gonna go energy missiles. Never seen them before. That's cool. Evasion for 30 seconds. No better health. More power. A little bit more health. Okay, nine minutes in. Okay, yeah. Just make sure we uh, try to kill the kitties ASAP. Try not to uh, pussyfoot around, just go straight towards them. As soon as you see them. Right there, another one. You have a chance of actually stopping them from actually hitting your, like, doing their attack. You. I'm gonna take bloodlust for now. Even though we only have like the blades, I think, are the only thing that actually cause rupturing right now, but. Almost 10 minutes in. A little bit of health regen. Damn kitties. Now we have the stupid druids. Okay, we have to find them. I don't know where they are, but. Not always easy spotting the enemy. I'm gonna upgrade blades. No, nope. I'm gonna upgrade blood swords. Okay, we got another druid. These like chicks that shoot the fire, like I don't know man. How am I supposed to dodge their attacks? Just had to use a revive. Okay, I guess we'll go necromancy. Yeah, I don't necessarily know how to dodge their attacks.
Damn, man. They just like, uh, yeah, like, how am I supposed to dodge their attack? Get another dash. Um, deathlessness. Your summons last longer. Warped attack goes up to novice. I guess I should go deathlessness. Okay, 12 minutes in. I'm not very confident. Like, those damn witches. Like, I really don't know how to... What to do to defend against them. The kitties, you just gotta kind of, like... Get up in their face. But, like, the witches just... Decimate you. Rough, man. I don't seem to be doing a lot of damage with my main attack right now. Has me worried. Definitely has me worried. Okay. 13 minutes in. Yeah. This is gonna be rough. Ouch. Ooh, master stuff. Your dash drains enemies healing you when you're below a certain... Well, I'm going to take that right now, a master dash. Definitely need it. Hopefully that helps. I'm gonna drop some shitty items here. Curious. Morbidly curious what the other reasons are. I guess I'll ask the other time though you seem rather busy vampirism fuck yeah when you hit an enemy restore life life steal on one hit life on, on a hit one okay i think that just might have won us this fucking game please win us this game i think last i think they like what's the opposite of nerfed they like fucking up this before, I think this used to, like, decrease some shit from you. Well, I really hope this just won us the fucking round. Vampirism. Automatic, one heal on a hit. Insect Queen. We really need to... I need to be swarmed here, man. I want to fucking... Holy fuck. I'm probably actually going to lose. After after that upgrade, I'm still going to lose. I need a heal. Bad. Damn. This chick is rough, dude. Definitely uh, need to use the pillars to my help advantage here. Damn, she moves so fast. Just hide behind the pillars. She's tough, man. Damn. Yeah, I... Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know, man. This is rough. 
This queen is uh, really tough. Come on. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm really... Holy shit. This vampirism is so awesome, but at the same time, like, it's not... It's like, it's awesome against swarms, not against good enemy, like, one enemy. Um, your dash drains enemies healing. So I up that. Or I up fear. Man, I really want to up fear, but I also really need the healing. Um, I'm gonna just go with lifelink for now. Man. I yai yai. Okay. Just try to... Ah! Almost got her. Almost got her. She's almost dead. Holy shit. Did I just get her? I just got her. Eye patch. What is that? What is all this? Okay, I definitely need to drop some shit. Holy shit. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. We fucking did it. Killed the fucking queen. Hell yeah. Okay, we're gonna drop anything that's common or... Simple. Anything that's common or simple is getting dropped. We're picking all this up. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. 15 minutes in. Guidance to... What is this? Attacks chance to deal critical damage to 5%. You gain more control. I guess we're just going to go up to expert with guidance. Doesn't really do much, but whatever. Fucking hell yeah. Okay. That was awesome. Vampirism is like, in my opinion, is probably the best passive, like the best upgrade you can get. Awesome. Awesome. As long as I just avoid these stupid freaking... Damn! I like ran right into that one. Damn, I just like walking right into these. Let's get the healing. And then I killed that guy. Your summons do more damage. Do I go life length? Drains. Drain lengths is four. And I alp it to a lot more there. Like, I almost really need to just focus on that, but. Okay, um, kind of want to go influence though. I'm gonna go influence, even though I really should have went lifelink there. Seventeen minutes in. Here we go. What do we got? What do we got? I'm sure, there's another boss here. Fucking laser kitties. Just gotta be aggressive. Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Let's get these fucking kitties. Kill the kitties. Damn it, I lost them. There we go. Got the kitties. Got the kitties. Got the golem. Hell yeah! First strike. You deal more damage when striking undamaged enemies. You gain more control, fortune. That's awesome, but not necessarily the best thing. Because we have the fear trait, but still, no matter what, that's still awesome. Damn it, man. These fucking kitties, man. I need to really pay attention to this damn cats. Damn, dude. I don't gain um, health from my my summons doing damage, so kind of sucks. Kind of need to get swarmed a bit here in order to heal. 
Come on. I hate these fucking things. This is probably going to be where I die. Lifelink. Or influence. I'm going to go lifelink. Okay. Just got to try to kill these stupid freaking chicks as quickly as possible. Inky. Damn, what is this? Damn, I don't know, man. I'm probably dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Damn it. Damn it. I don't know, man. Those freaking checks are, like, impossible. Like, I don't know what to do. <sighs> I'm gonna go lifeline just cuz. Damn it, dude. I'm probably dead right here. Yep. Damn. Okay, at least I killed one of them. Do I got any more useless stuff? Nope. Damn, I really need to hit some enemies, get into some mobs here, and heal a little bit. Deathlessness, summoners last longer. Energy missiles or force. We'll go deathlessness, I guess. Nineteen minutes in. Damn, I'm super nervous here. I am super nervous here. Damn it. Yeah, I'm probably going to die because of these stupid bombs. I don't even know where they are. Holy crap. I can't see anything. This sucks. Yeah. Rough. 19 and a half minutes in. I got two freaking legend upgrades and I still lost. Man. That is so rough. That is so rough. <sighs> Man. That's so upsetting. Okay, well, that was Wrench Feels Like Playing, Death Must Die. If you liked what you saw, please feel free to drop a like and subscribe. It would really help a lot. Until next time. Peace.